The Reaper is used most often against moving targets of execution and partly as a source of intelligence. Its ability to hang around for a long time, its wide range of sensors, its multi-mode communication suite, and its accurate weapons make it a powerful tool for hitting and coordinating with strategic targets that move quickly or are hard to find. A Reaper can perform missions and tasks like intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, close air support, combat search and rescue, precision strike, body lays, convoy and raid overwatch, route clearance, target development, and terminal air guidance. Because of what it can do, the MQ-9 is perfect for irregular warfare operations that support the goals of the combatant commander. The Reaper can be controlled from afar as it is an unmanned aerial vehicle. For continuous missions, a fully functional system includes an aircraft with sensors and or weapons, a ground control center, the Predator primary satellite link, backup hardware, and operational and maintenance personnel. A rated pilot is in charge of the flight and mission, while an enlisted member of the aircrew works the sensors and guides the weapons. The Reaper can meet the needs of combatant leaders by using mission kits that can be loaded with a wide range of weapons and sensors. The MQ-9 comes standard with the multispectral targeting system, which has a powerful set of visual sensors for aiming. The MTSB is a multifunction device that has a laser designator, a laser illuminator, a shortwave infrared camera, a daytime TV camera, and a color or black and white TV camera. Different imaging sensors full motion videos can be watched independently or combined into a single video feed. A laser rangefinder slash designator is built in, too, for pinpointing the targets that will be hit by laser-guided missiles like the guided bomb unit 12 Paveway 2. Moreover, a synthetic aperture radar can be found on board the Reaper. Air-to-ground missile 114 Hellfire laser-guided missiles can be fired from the MQ-9. These missiles have anti-armor and anti-personnel capabilities and are highly accurate with minimal collateral damage. The unmanned aircraft can be packed into a shipping container and sent anywhere on the globe. Transporting the complete system requires an aircraft no smaller than a C-130 Hercules. The MQ-9 uses conventional airfields in the United States for takeoff and landing, and these airfields must have a direct line of sight to the ground data interface antenna. The PPSL allows the aircraft and instruments to communicate with one another over great distances. The MQ-9 has also been upgraded with external fuel tanks that can store 1,300 pounds of fuel, allowing it to fly farther and for longer periods. This allows for longer travel and more time at the station. To further enhance the takeoff performance, an additional blade was added to the propeller, and an alcohol water injection device was installed. The main idea behind operations is remote split operations, which use a launch and recovery ground control station for takeoff and landing operations at the forward operating location and a crew based in the continental United States to command and control the rest of the mission through beyond line of sight links. By using remote split operations, fewer people need to be stationed in the field, and command and control of the different flights can be centralized at home. This reduces logistical supply problems and operational complexity for the weapons system.